say to a game of tennis? Come on, Grandma. <laughs> okay, I'll get my racket. Um, on second thought, I think I better sit this one out. You crapped your pants again, didn't you? I just don't feel confident. Look at this, Jack. Here we are. It's oops, I crapped my pants. You see, it's got a big pad. Unlike my DOJ, these don't leak. How do you know so much about oops, I crapped my pants? I'm wearing them, and I just did. What's up, guys? Your boy Benny, my mentor, Andrew Breitbart, always used to say that politics is downstream of culture and that what happens inside of Hollywood will eventually affect politics. So it's actually good to look at the political world through the lens of like Hollywood and a Hollywood studio and writers and writers of great dramas or great action movies. And inside of every single great drama, all the way back to Shakespeare, there's always this betrayal, right? There's always this aha revelation moment, right? Where the dagger is stabbed into the side of the hero and you get this massive betrayal betrayal of the guy that you were rooting for. And ladies and gentlemen, betrayal is exactly what Joe Biden is feeling this morning as he opens up every single page of every tabloid, every rag, every corporate media simp that has sucked his toes for the last five, seven hundred years, Joe Biden's been in office and seen headlines like this, a nightmare. Special counsel's assessment of Biden mental fitness triggers Democrat panic. This is NBC News. This is like a headline that I'd put up. NBC News is writing my headline style. What world are we in, ladies and gentlemen? Every single paper, the front of the New York Times, ladies and gentlemen, Joe Biden is stupid. Joe Biden doesn't have the mental capacity to win. They're all sounding the alarm. They're all saying we're done for. Everyone is turning on Biden. Here's a paper in Australia. This is what they had, weekend at Biden's. Look at this, it's gone international. There is no containing the nightmare that is this report. This is a report, ladies and gentlemen, that was created by Joe Biden's DOJ. So live by the sword, die by the sword, right? You live by the sword, you die by the sword. This is the sword, this is it. They told us to trust the corporate media. They told us to trust the government. They told us to trust the DOJ. And now they're the ones that don't trust the DOJ because the DOJ says that Joe Biden is mentally unfit and incapable of holding office. This is the report. It says that Joe Biden doesn't even remember his own vice presidency. He doesn't remember the time when he was vice president. He couldn't remember. He didn't remember his own son's death. He didn't remember any of the things. His memory was hazy at best. So yeah, ladies and gentlemen, trust the DOJ. Okay, so we should trust this document and trust the corporate media. Well then, okay, I'll trust NBC News for the first time in my life, saying that it is a nightmare and that Democrats panic. Polls have long found that questions about Joe Biden's age and mental abilities have plagued Biden standing with the public. Ooh, yeah. And now those Democrats are turning to CNN and going on CNN, a guy who was deeply involved in like Bill Clinton, the Bill Clinton era, Paul Begala, is this like deep Democrat advisor, okay? He's like Mr. Democrat in Washington, D.C. So what you're about to hear on the airwaves of CNN is unbelievably hysterical, okay? What Paul Begala is gonna talk about is what happened last night. They trotted out Joe Biden to try and prove that he was, he was with it and he was mentally capable and ended up in Joe Biden having a spitting, screaming meltdown, messing up who the president of Mexico or Egypt was, didn't know the difference between the two nations, uh, berating the press, insulting the press, I know what the hell I'm doing. Well, if you did know that, you wouldn't have to scream it. And Joe Biden wagging, literally wagging his finger and yelling at the media. Look at him go. Look at this old geezer. So anyway, this is what CNN's response is to Biden's recent performance. This is bad. Voters in the Senate. Well, how much Democratic bedwetting do you think there will be? <laughs> I, I bring up the term everyone the laughs. It's a term that is used. It is, it is, it is a term it's a political term of art. And it's used hey, in bye. Democratic big D politics. Yeah, it's what true. people say about Democrats. I'm not saying anything that's offensive to Paul's, you know, <laughs> delicate young, sense young, of young, delicate yeah. ears. So, so they just made a Joe Biden depends joke on CNN. They made a Joe Biden diaper joke. Remarkable. How much of that <laughs> will there be? And if you are the White House, how do you assuage said mm. bedwetting? 
Oh, yeah. Look, uh, I'm a Biden supporter. I, I, and I slept like a baby last night. I woke up every two hours crying and went to bed. Uh, this is this is terrible for Democrats. And it, it... OK, let's just begin by saying that's great television. That's a good line. Well done, Paul Begala. I can see why you were the Mr. Wordsmith in the Clinton administration. I was a I slept like a baby. I woke up and pissed myself crying. Anybody with a functioning brain knows that. Um, but here's what you do. Instead of calling a press conference saying, I really am sharp, you attack the other guy. You know, the, the, Joe Biden gave the strategy in 2012. He was, I remember, he was vice president. And he said, don't compare us to the almighty, compare us mm -hmm. to the alternative. So everything with Biden has to be not, I'm great, but the other guy's really damaging, dangerous, a threat. You know, the, 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 this is an unlovely. John's exactly right, right? This is going to be a really rough, ugly, unpleasant campaign. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, you know, luckily, Joe Biden has somebody so smart to defend him because the corporate media is no longer defending Joe Biden. It is remarkable. Not only is the corporate media absolutely hammering Joe Biden with questions and were brutal last night, were truly shockingly brutal last night, but you're getting headlines like this out of NBC. Ladies and gentlemen, um, there is someone who's defending Joe Biden. Oh, yes. And you can count on it. Oh, there's one of the smartest there is. Sharpest there is. Camel. The way that the president's <laughs> demeanor in that report was characterized could not be more wrong on the facts and clearly politically motivated. Gratuitous. And so I will say that when it comes to the role and responsibility of a prosecutor in a situation like that, we should expect that there would be a higher level of integrity than what we saw. So he is a special prosecutor appointed by the attorney general. The report was presented to the attorney general who reviewed it and then passed it on to the White House. So she just rolled all of that up in a big ball and threw the entire DOJ under the bus. I wonder if the White House press secretary is now going to again talk about the independence of the DOJ and how they stay out of everything after that comment. It gets hard to do when your bosses are making comments. Like oh, it's so wonderful. It's so incredibly delicious. I'm here for it. Everyone is here for it. Members of Congress, however, are no longer here for it. Many members of Congress are now saying that Joe Biden needs to be 25th Amendment. Get him out, which is dumb, OK, because you should want this guy to run in 2024. Now I have changed. I will admit my I would I will admit my failures here. I have called for Joe Biden to be impeached. Nope. Don't impeach him, actually. Keep him. Keep him on the ballot. Hold up. <laughs> oh, I got to admit when I'm wrong here. Although it is a bad look. OK, we'll take we'll take the PR win. No one's ever going to do the Republicans in Congress aren't going to do anything. That's something we've learned. But we'll take the PR win. They're all calling for Joe Biden to get 25th Amendment. This helps signal boost the fact that Joe Biden is incapable of running the country, which he is. His own DOJ says so. Day of damaging headlines all about his mental acuity. President Biden held a late evening press conference from the Oval Office where he hoped to show he's still sharp. Instead, though, he quickly had multiple gaffes and appeared combative at times. So we'll go into the very first gap. It happened when Biden expressed anger that special counsel Robert Hur said in his classified documents report that Biden couldn't remember when his son Bo died while he was being questioned by investigators. Now, in refuting that, Biden appeared to forget where his late son got his rosary. There's even reference that I don't remember when my son died. How in the hell dare he raise that? Frankly, when I was asked the question, I thought to myself, it wasn't any of their damn business. Let me tell you something. Some of you have commented, I wear since the day he died, every single day, the rosary he got from Our Lady of... And he never finished that statement there. Biden also bristled when asked about voter concerns regarding his age. Voters have concerns about your age. How are you going to assuage them? And do you fear that this report is only going to fuel 
you have further concerns about your age? Only by some of you. Mr. President, Mr. President, for months Mr. when you were asked about your age, you would respond with the words, watch me. Watch Many me. American people have been watching, and they have expressed concerns about your age. That is they, your judgment. They, that is your judgment. That is they not the judgment concerns. of the press. They, I didn't want him to not. And shortly after defending his mental acuity, the president said Israel has been too heavy-handed in Gaza. Then he mixed up the leaders of Mexico and Egypt when he said Mexico wouldn't open humanitarian corridor with the Gaza Strip. The conduct of the response in, Gaza, in the Gaza Strip has been um, over the top. I think that, uh, as you know, initially, the president of Mexico, Sisi, did not want to open up the gate to allow humanitarian material to get in. I talked to him. I convinced him to open the gate. And Trace, as a result of today's events, New York Republican Congresswoman Claudia Tenney is now calling for the 25th Amendment to be explored to potentially remove Biden from office. I know you're going to be talking to her here in a few minutes. So, yeah, ladies and gentlemen, it's not going great for Joe. Even CNN are making depends jokes about Joe Biden. I'm here for it. And you can depend on that. It's your boy, Benny. Like, share, and subscribe. See ya.